This isn't about two-tier policing. If you're worried about going to war with Russia, if you're worried about the conscripting British public to fight their bullshit globalist wars, it's 2024, you can't get a dentist appointment, you can't get a doctor's appointment. You can't turn your heating on, yet they're filling every five-star hotel with migrants who they know nothing about, nothing at all about. If any of these points are frustrating you, you will see on June the 1st that we want to cover every one of them. It all aligns and joins together as their totalitarian state. If you're fed up with immigration, what, 750,000 people lost you, which is why your housing prices are going up, which is why your rent's going up, it's why everything's going up, yeah? They need to close the borders. If you want a voice, if you want to show your frustration and help us build a movement, that opposes all of these points. If you're pissed off with the sexualization of children, if you're pissed off with your children going to school and reading nurse, reading books at the age of four or five about men getting married together, yeah? About men wearing dresses, transgenders being welcomed into school. If you're pissed off that your daughter can't go even sit at school in a female-only toilet, yeah? All of these points are all an attack on our country, okay? If you're annoyed with your culture being eroded, Whilst, and not being able to celebrate who you are, your identity, or your race, whilst everyone else is. Everyone else's race is put up here, everyone else is celebrated, and yours is deemed and frowned upon. There are so many reasons to get out on June the 1st. If you don't want to be a slave, if you don't want your democratic rights taken by globalist corporations, or the WHO, or the World Economic Forum, as our politicians hand it over that power, they plan to hand it all over. Yeah? You're pissed off with getting told when they went through the COVID lockdowns, with them forcing vaccines, every single doctor that they put on your TV lied to you. All being paid by Big Pharma. Yeah? Your politicians, their job is to protect us. It's to warn us. They've done the total opposite. They done what the people pushing and funding them wanted them to. They stuck experimental vaccines into your arms, and since then they've hidden the effects of that. Okay, all of these points, there's so many points. There's so much wrong that's happened. There's so much we need to cover, yeah? And there's so many people who need a voice. And a movement that challenges these lies, that challenges the destruction of our culture and our nation. June the 1st, make your plans, be there in London, okay? Be there in London, stand as part of a movement. You'll feel the power, trust me. Come along, you'll feel at home. You'll feel with your brothers and your sisters, you'll join together. What is a revolution? A revolution is fought by determined people who want change. How determined are you? How? We need change. We don't want change. If we don't get change, the country your children are going to grow up in is going to look nothing like the one you grew up in. Okay? We're going to be a minority in every town and city. And not just as we become a minority, you're going to get treated like one as well. We're already treated like one now when we're a majority. Imagine how bad it's going to be. The time is now. There's never been a moment like this. We either do it now, we build a movement now, we oppose them now, and we stop it now, or your children are becoming slaves, okay? Second-rate slaves in your own country with a thousand years of Christian history disappeared in a generation due to pure cowardice. No one's asking you to come out and fight. Thousands and thousands of British patriots came to London, Westminster, held a rally, peaceful, democratic, pro-freedom, united. We had different flags, different ethnicities, different genders, both of them. The mainstream media decided to attack us. The mainstream media decided to lie about the rally. And in this video, we only have two things, ladies and gentlemen, facts and evidence. The media decided to call us far right. <clears throat> they, were, they had a number of reasons to do it, right? Let's talk about Sky News. Sky News, BBC News, all of them, far right this, hard right that, fascist, right? All that. Far right activist Tom Robinson organized a demonstration in central London, blah, blah, blah. We had hundreds and hundreds of non-white people. Well, overall non-white, we had thousands. Uh, but uh, hundreds of, for example, the, the, the black British community who were there proudly and happily and united with no issues. But then they said, yeah, fine, 
but you guys are xenophobic, don't like different countries. You had the Iranian flags, American flags, all the others. And then they said, this is basically EDL, the English Defence League. We had the Welsh flags, the Scottish flags. We, in fact, also had the Republic of Ireland flag. It's, it's absolutely fascinating. And of course, the Union flag to show the unity of uh, this kingdom as a family. So these are the facts that we have for the mainstream media. We don't have to prove anything to them. A lot of people didn't want to turn up. They were still scared, thinking this could be uh, football hooligans, right? But they saw it was just full of families and middle-aged women. Hayd Beheshti, the British Iranian journalist uh, uh, who was born in Iran, he said, the rise of thousands of British patriots in London to save their country from Islamism, fascism and terrorism. It is so great to see that our fellow British patriots have acknowledged the existential threat of extremism, Islamism and fascism and its uh, spread in the country and have stepped into the battlefield to fight against it. We have no other way than resistance. An Iranian is supporting the British patriots and the rally. The Metropolitan Police, TTC TV, confirmed that uh, to be honest, this is exactly what they said, to be honest, we were told to expect trouble at the, the rally. There were incident, two incidents of two people being taken away by the police and then they were released afterwards because there was always one or two people with trouble anyway and there wasn't really full trouble anyway. Uh, one of them was, uh, I think, being outside in public like an idiot. Um, and meanwhile, with the, the Islamist protest, uh, we had uh, 40 people being arrested. 40 people being arrested. The media are not telling you that. Well, we are here to do that. Patkin Ozana, another British Iranian, <clears throat> defending the pa British patriots, also saying to all British Iranians, what we are witnessing today in Britain is what we saw before in Iran in 1979 that helped the Islamists seize power in Iran. The left going to bed with the Islamists, an incompetent, a timid establishment, the crackdown on patriots to appease the enemies, the unwillingness of the statesmen to confront the extremists, the infiltration of the enemy into the institutions and the media. If you don't want our new home to fall to the extremists again, we must stand behind this brave British patriot, Tommy Robinson. And as I said in my plan, I'm Iranian, British patriot and I couldn't be more grateful to live here. God save the United Kingdom. There are both Iranian and Israeli flags embraced by the crowd. You've all been lied to. These are normal decent British citizens who have had enough. The rally was well organized, peaceful and even the police confirmed that they were satisfied. Not only that, it escalates because of the truth because of the facts that we have. This is quite nice, mate. This is real fun. Stop reading Daily Mail headlines and watch with your own eyes. flags, Israeli flags, the Irish flags, the American flags, everybody was together. Well, the actual extremists and intolerant fascists were doing a protest on Whitehall and they only were able to get about 25 to 30 people turning up. We won. But this is just the beginning, ladies and gentlemen. 28th of July, next gathering. A lot of you still felt uncomfortable, probably concerned and scared. Some people don't turn off. But now they've seen what happened. It's time to feel comfortable. I know that the Brits 
Anglo-Saxons, they're not revolutionary people. They're not like the French or the Arabs, not troublemakers. Resistance towards authority, but democratic. So you would like to turn up at events that you would feel comfortable at. If I say I'm organizing some sort of a protest where we're gonna burn cars, you're not gonna turn up, I know. But this time it proved it. This is just the beginning. 27th, 27th of July, next one, don't forget.